Six months after a jury awarded Apple just over $1 billion in its monumental patent infringement suit against Samsung, a U.S. district judge is cutting that amount almost in half because she believes the jury's math was off. Federal Judge Lucy Coe slashed $450 million of that original settlement and ordered a new trial because she felt the jury needed to sort out how much Samsung should pay for 13 devices where the jury's math is in dispute. She described how she came to her conclusion. When a court detects an error in the jury's damages verdict, the court has two choices. The court may order a new trial on damages or the court may reduce the award to a supportable amount. But Co did both Friday. She slashed the king size award almost in half and says Apple could get more than that, depending on what the court decides to add in interest and damages from Samsung sales. As for the new trial, Co says it will determine how much, if any, of the more than $400 million up in the air actually should be given back. A writer for the Wall Street Journal calls this move a setback for Apple, which has locked horns with Samsung in courtrooms around the world for nearly two years. The case stems from Apple's claim that Samsung infringed both its iPhone and iPad product patents. Apple says Samsung got its ideas for the Galaxy smartphone and their tablet from those two devices. The BBC points out the two have court cases in eight other countries as they battle for the smartphone market crown. Co did not give a specific date for the retrial, but multiple outlets believe it will happen late in August, a year after the first trial opened. For Newsy, I'm Christian Bryant. Multiple sources, a broader view.